Welcome everyone to the first presentation for our solid state battery event and of course battery materials. And I'm delighted to introduce Kasper Peters. Kasper is the CEO at Imagi and today he will tell us about um, their nanoporous silicon for high energy silicon dominant batteries. Kasper, over to you. Enjoy. Thank you very much, Christoph. Uh, good afternoon, my name is Kasper Peters um, and I will introduce uh, uh, our company Imagy to you. Um, I think that in this audience I do not really have to explain why, uh, but it is important. Um, uh, as, our, as a company we, uh, yeah, we want to combat climate, climate change and we feel that it's very important to make electric driving accessible to everyone. Electric driving is the key to use more renewable energy to replace fossil fuels. And uh, that needs uh, many batteries and improved batteries. Uh, and that is what is, uh, this talk will be about and that is uh, what our company is about. Uh, so what we do, we, uh, we provide unique nanoporous silicon to the market for uh, lithium ion battery anodes uh, and we supply this to our clients battery makers and automotive oems uh, worldwide so our company at a glance uh, we supply nanoporous silicon uh, as i said for high energy lithium ion batteries we are a team of about 25, uh, mainly material scientists, uh, battery scientists and engineers who uh, uh, design and make new equipment like the equipment, equipment that you see on that, uh, on that picture over there. That is uh, uh, yeah, an image of uh, our, our production line where we melt and cast silicon. Uh, we are located near Amsterdam in the Netherlands. Um, the company is founded in 2019, but a, a part of the team worked together already since 2000, uh, spinning out of the Energy Research Center in the Netherlands. Um, so that's more than 20 years of, of experience in silicon crystallization technology. And with that, we have a, a state-of-the-art uh, production line and also battery making and battery test facilities in-house. So I'll be talking about uh, silicon. We are turning low cost, abundantly available silicon into a high performance battery material. And that is actually what you see on these uh, uh, SEM images. Here you see particles of five to 10 micrometer sized. That's, the, that's our product that's in the form of a powder. Uh, and you can see a fine nano structure here. These are all pores. And on, in this other particle here, more in the center of the image, you see the, you can see the pores from left to right through the particle. So it's really in, in one dimension uh, within the particles. Um, well, let me tell you why silicon, if that's not yet known. I mean, many people in the industry are uh, exploring new materials and uh, one of the very promising materials for the anode is silicon to replace graphite not just add a little bit of silicon to graphite but really completely replace uh, the graphite in the in the battery stack uh, why is that because silicon has a much higher capacity up to 10 times the capacity of graphite that's also what we show here on this uh, on this graph uh, theoretical maximum is more than 3600 milliamp and per hour per gram um, we focus on this area which is shown in green the green area uh, around 2000 milliamp per hours per gram uh, that's the practical capacity range that we uh, uh, that we target at market introduction um, well it's a promising material due to high capacity however there are well-known problems of, uh, of silicon. I will not go into detail, but you can, for example, read the, the paper that's referred to here. Um, silicon breaks and swells when it's, uh, when it's lithiated. So when lithium ions are uh, moving into silicon and forming an alloy, uh, the, the particles uh, swell, uh, break, and also disconnect from the copper layer, from the conductive layer. Uh, and all of that is uh, really problematic. And if you, make a battery with, let's say, pure um, particles